Hi everyone, Michael Kimpton here, and uh, yeah, well, I think some of you have already figured it out by now. I want to come back. I want to do some more VG retros. Yay! That's awesome. <sighs> But there are some things that we need to sort out. A lot of people have come up with some ideas, most of them friends of mine. They've um, toyed with the idea of VG Retro like having a couple of gags as to why he hadn't done any videos. Like, he had done the series but he'd been asleep all this time. Or that uh, he just forgot to press record on his camera. Um, but to me... I don't personally want to do that. I've had a good think about it, and the reason I don't want to do it is because the Nostalgia Critic did it, and to be honest, I hardly remember that video anymore. Uh, I saw it once, and I remember the key points, like there were some jokes, and he, the main point was he came back, and that's it. I don't really remember anything else. And, Nobody else really cares for that video as far as I know. I mean, all that they really care about now is the fact that he came back. He's still doing videos, and it's like the whole matter's completely forgotten. And so that's sort of what I want to do. I just want to, like, I thought it would be stupid thinking about it at first, you know, just like three years, boom, review, that's it. But then I did that. Dracula, last October, I did that. So, um,. I don't really think there's much point in going through a whole um, story episode to explain, <coughs> sorry, to explain where I, where I'd been and what I was doing, because people just want to see the reviews. I mean, that's what it's about, right? I'm, I do reviews, you know. So, yeah, all the games that I used to have, they've been moved because I started watching Doctor Who, as a lot of people know. Um, yeah, I've got way too many Doctor Whos. It's like, all that shelf and most of that one. I've got to stop doing that. You don't want to know what's over there. You just don't. Uh, but no, um, everything video game-wise has been shoved over here, and it's a bit of a mess. It's like the corner of a warehouse that's out of room. And I think most of the initial reviews are going to be like that because I've become a bit of a hoarder. I just anything I see game game wise or DVD wise, I pick up, whether I've got room for it or not. And I've got chairs and footstools which act as additional shelves and chests and stuff. I've just got way too many things. I mean, I must have like ten grand's worth of material in here that nobody would want anyway. I'm I'm losing track, aren't I? Okay, yeah. Why am I doing this review? It's not obviously to tell you that I'm coming back, because you kind of got that with Dracula. It's been a while since that video, of course, but I really want to um, make sure everything's right. So it's going to take a while to get everything sorted. But once it is, that's it. VG Retro's back, and how long am I going to be back? I don't know. I mean, I might stick around for a while, or I might just do this year and see what happens after that. Like, if the show's a success, then I'll keep going, and if it's not a success, I'll maybe give it one more chance, or maybe just move on at last. At least like I tried to do, and haven't done very well since then. Uh, so yeah. There are two games that I want to choose from to be the first episode. So, I'm just going to show you those. Um, I'm going to start with the one that I've um, most that I had been thinking about over the past couple of weeks, which is uh, Dynamite Heady. Dynamite Heady is one of my favourite games. It's um, one of those few games that I still have in my collection that I've had ever since I was a kid. Like, you know, other copies are broken, I've had to buy them over the years. This has been the same one since 1994. It's four years old when I played this. Bloody Nora. Yeah, it's... Um, it's a great game. Uh, the game's not actually in there because it's in the console. Um, and it's one that I think would be really good to talk about. There's a lot of jokes because there's bonus points and everything that I can't get all of. And I think that would make uh, some interesting humour. Um, and I started writing that and I started to think, do I want to do that? Because even though I recorded the game, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's one of those games because what people don't know 
is that before I actually officially started VG Retro, I actually did um, a short video where uh, I reviewed a game back in 2007, I think it was, and the first game I ever played was reviewed was Dynamite Heady. And how I got the game footage is absurd. I actually stuck my old camera, the one from the VG Brothers and all that, um, this camera, which is what all the VG Brothers were filmed on, as well as season the season one of VG Retro and most of the second season. And I just stuck that in front of my TV and just recorded the games like that. <laughs> and that was really stupid because like, it looked like a mess. And when my computer was formatted um, after I released um, episodes one and two, Vector Man and Revenge of Shinobi, um, I lost that episode. And to be honest, I don't miss it because it was a mess. So it is one that's going to be hard to come back to, even after already reviewing it technically. Oh, it should be fun. It should be fun, and I guess I'm looking forward to it. But this is the one I've been thinking about most recently. Sorry about this, the box is an absolute state. Um, Super Star Wars. Now, I adore Super Star Wars. Of all the Super Nintendo games, this one's probably my favourite, simply because... This, again, is one of those games I grew up with. This isn't the same copy, because my original copy of the game was stolen. You know who you are. And, uh... You know, I really like this game. I mean, of, of the Super Star Wars trilogy, this one's easily the best. Uh, yes, you're going to ask me what the worst one, I think, was. Incidentally, I think it was Empire, but, uh... No, this one's really good. I mean, it had the same. It had like the perfect level of difficulty. It had the great, the perfect amount of levels. The music was fantastic. The gameplay was excellent. This was just the most terrific game that I played in those days because this was just after I got into Star Wars. In fact, no, actually, I think it was just before I got into Star Wars. My dad showed me the Star Wars films after he got us this game. And, of course, later that summer we went to go and see um, The Phantom Menace. Which uh, I kind of like because um, I saw it as a kid, uh, just after the original trilogy, so I saw it at just the right time. Because, you know, it's one of those things where um, unless you do it absolutely perfect, it ain't going to work. I think it worked this time because I did like Phantom Menace and still kind of do as like a guilty pleasure sort of thing. So yeah, this is one of those games that I have a lot to talk about, and in fact, this one was actually written as a VG Retro for 2010, before I quit. It was going to be the third se episode of that season. Um, and it was all completely written, all the footage, all the game footage was recorded, and um, Daniel Swallow, aka Sonic Guru, already did the title card, which he's long since released on DeviantArt. So this one has a lot more going for it, but, uh, and, and I do still have the DVD discs, like, after my computer was formatted again, the same day I announced the retirement video, I lost the master copies of every episode, so I've only got bootlegs of them now. Um, <clears throat> but no, this one, no, this is one of those games that, uh, that I can talk about forever, I mean, I love this game, and... Since it's got more going for it, um, production-wise, you know, pretty much everything's done. I just need to, um, I just need to rip the footage to my computer. I just need to record um, the acting and the microphone stuff, and then I've got myself my first review of the year. But of course, that video was done in 2000. And that review was done, written in 2010. So that's three years old. So. A lot has changed since then, including me, so whether I feel the same way about the script as I did before, I'm not sure, so this is probably one of those that's probably going to require a major rewriting overhaul. Um, and also, I got a voice recorded uh, for a joke and whatever my first review would be, provided I could fit the joke in. I might as well talk about that, actually. It was going to be a simple Chuck Norris gag, at the time where the Chuck Norris thing was still big. Um, and there were two people who um, I thought about getting the role uh, voiced. Um, the first one I went to was um, Ed Gould, uh, aka Edsworld, and this was like back in 2010 when he was uh, still alive. And I told him about it, and he was like, 
oh yeah, yeah, uh, this, uh, this, this is interesting, I'll give it a go. But then he couldn't do it. Uh, things got in the way, and um, he had to, he had to just turn around and say one day, "Look, I'm sorry, I can't do this." And I just thought, "Oh, well, that's fine. You're busy." Um, yeah, yeah. So um, he he couldn't do it, um, and so um, I decided I'd look for somebody else. And I remember <clears throat> that uh, Morgan Ledger, who does vaulting. Uh, he uh, got um, Phalus for one of his reviews, and I thought that was really funny. And um, Sonic Guru, Daniel Swallow, uh, he toyed with the idea of getting Spoonie involved at one point. I don't know if he still does. So I thought it'd be amusing if I got Linkara to do the voice for that for this thing. But, of course, he politely declined. He didn't want to do it. And so I've got someone now who um, I asked if he'd do it, he said yes straight away, and he sent me the footage within two days. So, um, so that was great. So I've got a joke that I cannot get rid of because he's done the work, and he's such a great guy that I can't just like snub him by just saying, "Oh, not doing it now." Um, yeah. So whether that joke can fit into either one of these, whether it can fit into this one or this one, I don't know. Um, but what I'm saying is here. These are the two games that I want to start with. One of them. Not both. One of them. And this is where you come in. <laughs> now, I'm going to let you guys choose which one. You know, I'm going to give it until, let's say, uh, the 12th of May. I don't know. Um, just So let's say on the 12th of May, 2013, you know, if you want to, like, vote or something, Nah, that doesn't work, does it? I haven't really thought this one through. I suck. No, I'll tell you what. Um, just give your opinions on which game you think you want to see, and then I'll um, add up the comments of what you think. So make sure you leave a comment uh, whether or not you agree with the, which, whether or not you want this game, whether or not you want that game, and, you know, after a while I'll decide which one I want to do. I mean, I'm... I'm all for doing either of them, but, uh, you know, I'd want to leave it to you guys. And yeah, okay, I'm stuttering a bit because I didn't actually script anything out here, but, uh, you know, this was just a quick five-minute video I didn't think about, and I think everyone in my house is going to think I'm crazy because I didn't tell them that I was going to get my camera out and start uh, talking to it. So any family member of mine who walks into this room now, they think they're going to think I'm nuts, okay? So... This is getting a bit long, I just wanted to get that out there. VG Retro's coming back, got two choices of games. Which one do you want me to do? Does that make sense now? Good. Okay, so I'll leave it to you guys. This is VG Retro, and it's great to be back.